we wanted to learn a dance for like a party that we were supposed to do. So she contacted one of her friends who happens to be Harold's friend. And he just asked me, hey, can you do me a favor and, and teach them dancing? Because, you know, way back when I was a dance instructor. So I said, who, who's, who's that? I'm like, oh, I don't know. I, I just met her, bro. I said, oh, okay. Well, are, are you going to come with me? And she goes, oh, no, 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 bro. It's just going to be you. You better just, you got to teach them for me. I'm like, what? He looked tired. And then later he told me that he, the night before, he was out clubbing, drinking all night. So he was probably hungover. You know, I, I really didn't want to go because the, the night before that, you know, we, we were drinking, so I was pretty hungover. But I'm like, you know, he's my bro, so I, I did it for him. And little did I know, you know, I met Kin. Um, I thought he was cute, you know. I thought, it, yeah, I thought he was cute. Yeah. <laughs> I gave him a time of day. <laughs> I, I, I think I had to, you know, I had to catch her a couple of times, you know, fit, correct her form and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, but she's good, though. She was pretty good. You know, um, he's really funny. And the fact that he could dance really was like, what it, was a turn on to me. So, okay, there you go. <laughs> she, 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 nice body, like very pretty face. And she's funny, you know, she's always like, always smiling, cracking jokes with her cousins. Cause it was with uh, all of our cousins. Our first date was actually in front of a Long's parking lot in Pearl City. So we just hung out in the car and just talked story. And, and you know, three hours later we realized, oh, it's already late. So um, when he asked me out, I was like, I was kind of nervous so, and we didn't really know where to go. So that we ended up there. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, we just talked. She's very caring. Um, you know, she she really loves her daughter. She spent so much time with her, but also too, just, um, you know, just thoughtful with me. And, and she always tries to help me, um, you know, through work and, and just just those simple things. He's very ambitious. Like when he wants something, he'll do it like career goals and all that stuff and I, I really love that about him it pushes me to be a better person I, i'm always happy around here i feel so comfortable with her I, I really can just be myself yeah she doesn't judge me you know and and everything that i do even though it's stupid she supports it you know and, and i think that's what i love about her you know she's she's been with me through my ups and downs he's always positive um, he looks at the good things in, in everyone um, and he got along with my family and yeah, it's just really hard to find that all around guy. <laughs> it's been 15 years and it, it seems like it's day one, you know, that I'm still, you know, feeling butterflies as well as, you know, my heart racing. You know, I, I still feel the same love I had when you first met till now. I, I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. I, I knew that from day one. Uh, thank you for being uh, so loving to me, to Kyla, to my family. Um, I just love you so much and I can't wait to marry you and spend the rest of our life together. So I love you and um, thank you again for being you and loving me.